All right, welcome back to the Artist Connection Podcast. This is Matt Kasar here with today's special guest, Aaron Schul. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Pleasure pleasure to meet you. I was watching a lot of your YouTube videos and you have your albums out there in the uh, in the in the internet world and really amazing stuff. Can't say enough about it. You know, yeah, you like it. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like it. And you know what I like the most because, you know, we were talking a little bit before we started about about the internet. And I'm sure for you, it's really important to have kind of that image, that kind of visual to match the style of music. And not everybody can pull that off, but you, you certainly have a, 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 a nice style. You know, I don't want to say a throwback unless that's what you're going for. Uh-huh. I don't know how to classify it, but you have this kind of timeless look about you. And then when you hear your voice and when you hear the songs that you select and the songs that you write, it all comes together so nicely. So I just want to just say how, you know, how cool that is. Like what comes first? You know, you're a you're a working musician. This is what you do. So how does that how does that come about? Do you have like the do you have the style first, and the love of the music along the way, or do you do you kind of does your style match the music? What what comes first? Um, well, the music always came first for me. Yeah. Um, the uh, you know, I, I've always done music in some way. I just. Uh, and then I started taking it more seriously when I got a little bit older. I started doing it as a full-time thing. Yeah. And style-wise, I actually, it's just kind of like grown through the years. I didn't really have a style for a while. And then I started trying to uh, establish myself more as a visual art as well as a, you know, yeah. audio-type uh, artist. So... I think we we hired somebody to dress me at some point, and it didn't really work. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, she was really nice, and she helped out a lot, but I learned so much just from working with her that I ended up doing most of it on my own. What did, what did she come up with? What were some of the ideas that, that she had? She just, um, she would kind of tell me, like, how to wear jewelry and how to, like... One of the things that I did take from her that I will love her for to death. Yeah. Or, um, this is um, she always always tell me that you need to always look the part, even if you're going to the bank. You know. So and she gave me little tips on how to do that. So like, for instance, just little studded earrings or wearing a pair of high heels with your, you know, your jeans. You yeah. Run yeah. Into the, run to the bank. So now I can't do that all the time. <laughs> I can't like look like a rock star and I'm <laughs> my daughter from school. But you know, I try to like always look somewhat where I before that I was like, Oh, I'm not on stage, I don't care, I'll wear my pajamas. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, absolutely know what you mean. That's another kind of part of the internet stuff where how much as a as a performer and as a you know a working musician, how much of your private life are you able to maintain, or do you feel like you're being scrutinized a lot? I mean, the internet has a lot of opinions out there, and people write stuff all the time. And how conscious of you uh, of that stuff are you? Um, I do get a lot of scrutiny from Facebook and like social networking. Yeah, uh, people say things all the time. They always have their opinions about what I should do or what I shouldn't do or what I should say or what I shouldn't say, you know, like, like, for example, um, after Hurricane Sandy, um, we were kind of struggling here because I lost yeah. a lot of my income because all the venues were closed, oh. you know, and um, someone went online and was complaining to me that I, I was an artist and I should be out there playing benefits for Sandy and everything and... I was like, you know what? I have done a million, you know, being exaggerating, but yeah. a million benefits in my career so far. Right now, I'm focused on my family, so please just leave me alone. It's weird how <laughs> you know, like, like I'm that. just trying yeah. to, yeah, just trying to make sure that my daughter is warm right now. Yeah. So don't don't worry about me. <laughs> but uh. Where you yeah, hit, I mean, where you hit I pretty do. hard. I, I'm, I'm in Pennsylvania, and, and Sandy threw us for a loop, too. I'm in Bethlehem, so I'm, you know, I'm about two mm-hmm. hours from the nearest sh- shore point in New Jersey, but we, we got hit pretty hard. Power was out for, like, a week, and it was, you know, 
within a day or two, it's funny how people <laughs> how people change. I mean, not in my neighborhood per se, but if you're going out for gas or something, it kind of turns into a like a Lord of the Flies environment or Mad Max or something. <laughs> how quickly people yeah people change. It's scary there for a little while. Yeah. We didn't have power from for over a week. We didn't have power, but uh, we're we're not like right on the on the shore. We're about thirty five minutes in. Inland. Okay. Um, so we didn't get like you know I. I didn't, like, lose my home or anything. Yeah, yeah. No. There's a lot of people had it out there, out there had it a lot worse than I did, but we just, a lot of trees were down and no power, and yeah. nothing was open, like, restaurant-wise. So, like, you know, three days into not having power, we didn't have any food, we didn't have any gas know, to get anywhere. I know, I know. So it, it started to get a little scary, but, you know, we, we got through it, and uh, I'm still grateful that uh, I yeah. didn't lose more than... More than that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you see some of that <laughs> devastation; it just make it breaks your heart. I mean, to this day, it just was was horrible. And I was I I remember a couple of days before the storm, it was it was we were doing trick or treat around here, and a lot of the old timers were saying, "Oh, the storm's coming; it's going to be a bad one." And I'm like, "Come on how how would they know that far in advance? How bad could it be?" And then fast forward yeah. four days later, I feel like I'm a caveman again. <laughs> it was just terrible. Yeah, exactly. Horrible, horrible, <laughs> horrible. So. I'm retiring mm-hmm. that that opinion from my, you know, if somebody tells me it's going to be bad, I'm <laughs> I'm getting the flashlights ready and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the basement. Yeah, <laughs> I actually walked out because I am a little bit obsessed with candles. Oh, nice, yeah. And yeah, I I have a lot of candles I I collected throughout the years, and people are always like, "Aren't you ever going to burn them?" I'm like, "Yeah, I will eventually," you know. Like, but then when we didn't have power or heat or anything, I burnt. I, I put candles in every room of the house, and uh, I was able to heat the house and wow. light the house with the candles. Well, that's nice. So, yeah, it might be a little more dangerous than flashlights, but I didn't have to worry about batteries running out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Good. And, that... and it was also, I, to the point where I had to open the window. It was hot oh, in my, my house. Oh, wow. Yeah, that yeah, was the worst like, part here. The, the windows were... <laughs> the, the heat, not having the heat was the, was, was kind of the worst, too, because it was a cold cold week or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, 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 cold. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you, were you expecting that kind of scrutiny? I mean, that's just one example of what people say, but coming into this thing, you know, it's about, it's all about the music, of course, and you're drawn to the music, and I saw that you, you know, performed in public when you were 10 years old, you wrote your first song when you were 14. I mean, that's somebody that, that lives and breathes this stuff. You're not just doing this as a hobby. So were you surprised at the other, yeah. the other side of it when that came along? Um, well, growing up, everyone always told me you have to have a thick skin, you know, to yeah. be in this business. But uh, I don't know if I have fully realized how horrible people can be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But people can also be the the other end, too. You know, like, there's many people out there that are so kind and generous as well. So I guess you got to take it for what it is. You do, and, and focus your, your energy on those positive people, too, because doing this thing for two and a half years or so, I met some amazing people, you know, that have become close mm-hmm. personal friends along the way just from having this shared interest and in talking about stuff. So, yeah, that's what I, that's what I do. I focus on the, the positive stuff and whatever negative comes along. It's just, you know, that's your opinion, but it's not Yeah, gonna, you got to let it roll off, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's hard because I'm super sensitive, too, with yeah. stuff sometimes. And it's just, you know. <laughs> What do you mean you don't like it, or what? What do you mean that didn't sound right? Like you know, yeah. Yeah, even like, even when someone's not outright like trying to be vicious, like, like someone on Facebook saying mean things is is directing their viciousness towards me. But yeah. there are times when I've gotten like reviews and they weren't that great, you know, and they're like, oh, I don't feel this and I don't feel that, and I'm like, oh man, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, that, even, even that's upsetting. Like, they're not trying to hurt me, but it, it's like, yeah, you got to take all of that. Well, because gotta, mu- music and entertainment, it, I mean, you're, you're putting yourself out there, and it's, and it's you. And especially when you write the songs and you're, you know, you put so much of your time into it and, and, and the expense and whatever else, the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into making a record, and then you have somebody not like it in a public forum. I, I can imagine that wouldn't feel, that wouldn't feel so hot. Yeah. It's, you know, but that's, that's the industry, yeah. so you got to get used to it. Absolutely, it is. I see that you're billed as the, the jewel of New Jersey. I love that. <laughs> I think one of my fans came up with that. Yeah. 